Hey guys, um, we're out here on the Tensaw River. We're in my boat today. We are setting trot lines, and Ethan built the trot lines, made the trot lines. Something in like that. the previous video, he's behind the camera right now. And we're going along, and I know a couple deep holes, and so we're setting up on the bank, tying off to a root or a knee or something that's you know pretty well out in the bank. And we got 25 hooks on each line. Um, we went and got some jumbo and large minnows to uh, bait them with. We're cutting some, leaving some live um, as we get closer to the deeper water. Now right here, I know that about 20 foot that way, there's about 45, 55 foot of water, uh, depending on what the water's doing, because this, is, this river fluctuates with the tide um, pretty well. And um, so we're trying to find a good deep hole that's got a decent drop off and have our hooks presented on said drop off and the weight to be at the deepest point. Um, I'm cutting bait, Ethan's rigging up and um, putting the hooks on the line. So uh, we're gonna set three out. We've already set one. We're fixing to set this one and one more right down the river in a creek mouth. And we set the one previously up in a creek mouth. Um, I don't know that you would call this a creek mouth. It's well, a, we're not really setting up in it. I don't know. It's Maybe. a it's an overflow where when the creek in the back, about 300 yards back there, uh, when it floods, which it does often, it flows out here and creates a hole. Catfish like it. So we're gonna set them up, and hopefully we'll catch the whole river's worth of catfish. All right, guys. So we're fixing to bait this uh, second trout line, and. You want to take you? I cut the minnows up because they're gigantic. You're gonna take and you know just down just a piece on the minnow that has got enough bite. Just hook it through just like that. See that scale right there? Every time you leave that scale on there, you will miss a fish because he'll bite it and the barb won't get in him because that scale will stop it and you'll miss it. And then the way that Ethan's got these rigs set up, it's a pretty good little setup. You just squeeze it together, hook it on the line, let her eat. And do that 25 times. How'd that one go? Because <laughs> I made it, it and handed it. Jack, I'm old Kenny Wayne. He's, he's a real deal when it comes to trout line. That's who we need to get on the video, is Kenny Wayne. <laughs> I don't think YouTube would know what to do with it. <laughs> or Pop and his dinosaur oh. fossils. <laughs> white haired old man and Kenny Wayne on here. Dude, Kenny if... Wayne's my dad, by the way, not anybody random. <laughs> we just think it's funny to call him that. <laughs> Are we hung on that tree up there? Oh, there it went. A little bit. There it is. It broke loose in. Pro tip of the day. When you're hooking a live minnow, try your best to get behind that dorsal fin. You see how he's still able to move? And do not hit the backbone because it will paralyze them and they won't look live. And you can see he can still he can still wiggle around in the water. Looks like he's just a little hurt. Like he's got a hook in his back. That's your pro tip of the day. Are we out here riding real fishing now? Oh, uh, this is my first cast. So, Logan's got, how many you got going on too? All right. How deep, how deep is out the back? 40, 50 feet? We're in 38 foot of water fishing in about 50. 38 and 50. That's not bad. Logan's hooked up. Oh, oh no. Got off right at the boat. 
Oh man. There's a blue cat. He was a good little size too. Got him. He played with it long enough. Dude, do you see him just take it? Yeah. Blue cat. Blue cat, a little better than the last. Howdy. You need to throw yours over there. All right, so now we're setting out three limb lines that I made. Uh, same principle, nylon string, swivel, drop down with the hook. We're fishing with three hole minnows, and then we have it anchored down with half a brick. And uh, we got it anchored down to this log sticking up Logan and I both saw it and, <laughs> and thought the same thing. So, all right. Now we're fixing to throw these out. But like I said, we got two more to do after this one. And then we'll go check our trot lines real fast and see if anything's on them, rebate, and then get out of here and go to the house. So, that's what we're doing. There he is. A stingray. A stingray in the Tennessee River. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the? That sucks. Wheel. Fudge. Look. Bro, I can't believe that come up. That, that is crazy. There you go. Wow. There you go. Wow. All right, we're at trot line number two, and we just got our first big score. Heck yeah. In the boat. In the boat. That's probably six pounds. Maybe. That's her. Big old blue Big cat. Blue cat. Let's untangle these a little bit. Two of them, ET. Dude. That's a flathead and a blue. Woo! Get the net. That's a flathead and a blue. Ow, God. Good. Heck you, son. Heck <laughs> <laughs> you, son. <laughs> Ow, I got hooked. God. It's a decent little flathead catfish. Yellow cat. Mouth of that thing. Pretty good uh, four, four pound blue cat. What's up guys, we're back on the water, just launched the boat. We are on day two of running trot lines and fishing. We're gonna go check our trot lines and limb lines and then we are going to go rod and reel fish. We're gonna rebate and then go fish with the rods for a little while and then check our trot lines and pick up and get out of here. So that is what we're doing today. Yesterday we only caught five, I think we caught four three on trot lines, three big ones now, three or four or five pounds. And then we caught two uh, small ones on the reels. So hoping for a better day today. But we're just gonna go get started and see what we got. So we're checking our first limb line. First hook was a gar, he died. And then on the last hook, we have a cat. What do you do with that? What? <laughs> All right, so we're checking the second limb line. I mean, second trot line. We just checked the first one and it was not much uh, on that one. Huh? And there's a fish probably pretty good size on this one well, look at him well that was one fish off the second trot line 
Pretty good. There's another one. Oh, he's a bigger one. Look at him. Got him. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. Hey. In the boat, son. What did you do them pliers? All right, guys, we are headed home. We just got out of, I got off of the water, and uh, we did not have a great day like I thought we would, maybe with those trot lines sitting overnight. But it is what it is. We did catch five good ones, um, four on the trot lines, and then one on our first limb line that we checked. The other limb lines did not do anything at all. Um, it just nothing, nothing. Bait was gone, but nothing was there. Um, and then we had bad luck with the trot lines, as we said earlier, getting hung on stumps or trees and stuff, and we ended up losing two, basically two halves. And so we got one whole one left, but it is what it is. Well, I'll make another one. So um, we did learn a few things about checking where we were setting the trot lines beforehand, <laughs> so we don't lose them. And double check uh, the bottom. Double Always. check the bottom. Always turn on your depth meter and double check what the bottom looks like. Yeah. Because there might be a big fat log you get stuck on. Yep. Multiple times. <laughs> but uh, Logan also mentioned trying something different with how we set up the trot lines on a sandy shore of some kind uh, to kind of help with that. And he said catfish kind of feed at night with shad nearby. And that's that makes when sense. You're, that's for when you're setting up on a 24 hour period overnight yeah. something like that during the day yeah. it's completely different because we got those bites in that deep hole because of how right. hot it is sure but our plan did work a little bit it just it's the execution wasn't there completely right it did we were on to something but it didn't work great good, but uh good planning good engineering good drawing <laughs> poor execution yeah it was it wasn't a complete failure, but it was pretty close. <laughs> it was pretty close to one. But uh, anyways, we're headed home. We're going to get this guy moved in his new house. Yep. Him and his wife are busy for the next couple weeks getting moved in. So we're going to help get some furniture in today and uh, come back next week and do the same thing. And then that should be done and complete and in the new house. Should be. So that is where we're headed today. Thank you. See you next time. What's up guys? I'm back here at the house. I'm fixing to clean these fish that we caught. I just wanted to show y'all kind of what we did over two mornings of fishing. Counted 11. One yellow or flathead. Um, pretty good size catfish. Pretty good size one. Uh, these two right here that I'm pointing at. I caught those on rod and reels. The rest of these were trout lines and one of that one was on a limb line this one right here so the bigger ones came off of the trot lines that we set out um i just wanted to show y'all what they look like and i'm fixing to get the cleaning on these and get these done before it gets dark so let's get it <laughs> 